Hey everybody, Carl Schuf here, and today's quick tip is just on creating staggered animations. Alright, I'm going to jump right into the demo we'll be creating. I'm going to refresh the page, and you'll see that these buttons animate nice and smooth onto the screen in a staggered fashion. And when I click on one of them, they animate off in a nice staggered fashion. So, one more time, there's our build, click, and then they go away. So what I'm going to do is just jump over to the starter file. Um, you'll see that I have my HTML and CSS set up so that this is what my buttons are going to look like once they come on screen. I have no JavaScript set up right now, so I'm just going to go into the JavaScript tab of CodePen and make sure that tween max is loaded. I can do this by just typing in the word tween, and I'm going to select GSAP for Greensock Animation Platform, and we're now good to go. So what I'm going to do is create a tween max stagger from tween first. And what that's basically going to say is take a collection of elements, such as these three buttons, and animate them in from whatever values I provide. So I'm just going to write tween max dot stagger from. And the first thing we're going to pass in is an array of all of the elements that will be animated. So when you're staggering something, you need more than one. So we're just going to do dot btn, and you'll see that is the class on all of my um, buttons there. And so that's going to select every element with a class of button. My animation, we'll say, is going to be two seconds long, and I'm just going to start by doing a scale of zero. So I'm just going to run this. And okay, that's a very slow scale. Um, but I've been using the word stagger, and you'll see that these are all happening at the same time. Well, in order to get that stagger effect, we need to provide the stagger parameter, okay? So here what we're going to do is add a comma to add a new parameter to this method, and I'm going to put in one. And what that means is that there will be a one second delay of the start times of all of the tweens. So we're just going to run that again. And so now the first one goes, and now you can see there's some overlap here because the animation is two second long, and every one second a new animation is going to begin. So this is really not the silky smooth beautiful effect I was going for, so uh, let's mess around with a few more parameters. I'm going to change the scale to 0 0.5, and I'm going to add an opacity of 0. Um, and we're going to bring this stagger amount down a little bit to 0 0.2. And now you'll see that um, we still have the very slight stagger, but it's a very boring animation. So one of the best ways we can add some pizzazz to our animations is to add an ease. So let me just uh, close that HTML panel, and I'm going to add ease, elastic .ease out. Another thing I'm going to do is just add a delay of 0 0.5. So this is going to delay uh, the beginning of the effect. So we have a little bit of time to see what's happening before the page loads. So I'll run. All right, and so now we have this really nice staggered animation. One line of code, um, we could load it up with any properties that we want. Um, what I'm going to do though is move on to showing you that you know we've done a stagger from here, but we can also do stagger twos. In fact, there's a number of stagger methods. We have stagger from, stagger two, and stagger from two for tween max. So I'm just going to paste in some code here to show you a stagger to. So in the stagger from, we specify the properties we're animating from. And when we click the buttons now, we're going to stagger to an opacity of 0 and a y of negative 100, making them all go up. So we'll run this. There's a nice smooth effect. Click any button, and then they all go away nice and clean. All right. Um, that's about it for now, guys. I want to keep this short. Um, I do recommend, though, that you go to our docs, and to learn more about staggering, do a search for stagger right here. Um, we've been talking about tween max stagger 2. So click on that method. You read about all the different parameters that stagger 2 can do. Um, we have some nice interactive demos within our docs showing you how uh, the callbacks work within tween max stagger 2. And before I go, one more thing to point out is that if you need to control your staggered animations, um, tween max's stagger methods return an array of tweens. Uh, so you cannot tell an array of tweens to pause or rewind. Uh, if you need the added control, um, just check out the timeline light and timeline max stagger methods. So timeline light dot stagger two is going to show you how you can create a timeline light stagger two that you can reverse play, pause, 
reverse and do all that fun stuff. If you look at the JavaScript code, uh, the syntax is literally identical, except for you're tacking it onto a timeline instance. So uh, check out what we got in the different stagger methods for the different classes, and uh, I look forward to seeing your staggering results. See you around, guys.